Okay, now, there is something that is important in companies and it's called the operational plan. We haven't talked about the operational plan yet. And I need to explain this to you. What you need to learn is the difference between an strategic plan and an operational plan. A strategic plans are for company directors to give direction, to offer direction, to provide direction to the company. Operational plans, in the other hand, is about the day-to-day -day operations, what you do on a daily basis for that company to run, for that company to operate. That is why it's called operational plans. So the operational plans are not for company directors. The operational plans are for managers to be able to tell workers, labor, staff, employees, what to do. In business, we need to understand that we have hierarchies. The strategic plan is for company directors, founders, and the board. The operational plan is developed is the distillation of that strategic plan to operational activities that then will be executed by the labor, by the workers, by the staff in an organization. Now, now that you understand this, it's also critical to understand that for the operational plan to be properly established, you need to follow companies' policies and procedures and also current legislation in the state in which you operate your company. So the operational plan is not just you coming up with ideas in terms of how people should execute the job. It's understanding A, what is the company policy? B, what is the current legislation? And if the company policy and the current legislation, they match, they make sense, they reflect on what you need to execute, then the operational plan will make sense. Then the operational plan will be legal. Then the operational plan will not be risky. Then people will be able to execute it without breaking any company policy, without breaking the law. So the distillation, right word, the distillation of the strategic plan is the operational plan. And the operational plan at the very bottom is a summary of work activities. Now, when you add, when you add those work activities, you will have the duration of that process, of that project. When you add all the work activities that need to be completed by staff members, at the end you will have what is the duration of that project of that process. At the same time, if you add the individual cost of each activity, you will find at the end of the exercise, what is the final cost of that process? What is the final cost of that project? That is why the operational plan is so important because it translates to resources that you need in the company, it translates to the budget that you need in the company, it translates to the deadlines, the time frames that you need in the company. And that is what I need you guys to understand. Why? Because a good operational plan will give you three sources. What is the budget that you need? What are the resources that you need to run the company? And what are the deadlines, the time frames of those activities? extremely relevant to what we do. Got it? Got it? Operational plan, at what time we open the shop? At what time we close it? Operational plan, how many people we need in the shift? Operational plan, what machines will be turned on? Operational plan, what suppliers are coming each different day of the week? Operational plan, when we pay the invoices. The operational plan is the A, B, C of running a business operation. Whereas the strategic plan is what we want to do in terms of product development and market development. That is a strategic. What new products 
are we planning to launch? What other markets are we trying to conquer? That is a strategic plan. You got it? Strategic plan, what other products we want to design? What other markets we want to conquer? That is a strategic plan, these two variables, products, markets. Operational plan, nothing to do with it. Operational plan is what we have today. How can we do it better? How the resources, the budgets, and the deadlines synchronize so we can provide the service and produce to the market that we promised that we promised to provide to that market. Any question about the operational plan? Hmm? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rocio, what is the operational plan? Task that you do, do you have in the company? The task that we need to run on daily basis for a company to operate, yeah. for a yeah. company to work, all right? Yeah. Which people create the operational plan in a company? Which roles? The managers, they create the operational plans. Who execute, who execute the operational plan? The employees. The employees, the workers, well done. What about the strategic plan? Who is in charge of the strategic plan of a company? The manager. No, the managers do the operational plan. Ernio, Ernio, tell me, who is in charge of the strategic plan? The directors. The company yeah. directors. And that's why the company directors have such a big accountability for the business because they develop the strategy, all right? Whereas the managers are not accountable, they are responsible. There's a huge difference in business, huge, between accountability and responsibility, huge. Managers are responsible, directors are accountable. The director will provide direction. If that direction doesn't work, the reputation of the director will go to the floor. And that's why they charge what they charge. They are accountable. If something doesn't work, they will have to pay fines. Sometimes even jail, if the direction was the wrong one. What is the managers? Managers are obeying. Managers are just the stealing. Canalizing. Like if, like if they do something illegal. Because the manager has a contract and the contract says I need to follow instructions from my superiors, from my directors. Yeah. Now, the investigator will say, who is providing these directions? The director, the marketing director, talk to her. The director is accountable which means that all companies, they have a list of who are the company directors and they need to provide that list to controllers agencies in any country. So if they do something wrong, if they commit a crime, an offense, they will be liable. They will be accountable, which means that they will have to pay fines or jail. You respond for that company legally. That's why the director will make 300, 500, 600 thousand dollars per year, no problem. That is why the director go to work at 11 a.m. and leave at 12, because they are not workers. They are not managers, they are providing direction and that's what they need to do. We're going to the north, bye. We're going to the south, see you tomorrow. We're going to New Zealand, see you in four days. We are not going to New Zealand, we're going to Malaysia instead. See you in five days. Bye, you do the rest. I'm telling you that we need to go to New Zealand. You manager, you do the rest. And ask your team members, your workers to do the task. I do nothing because I am not a worker. I am a director. But for someone to be a director, huge sacrifices. It's not easy. No family, many times, no family, no friends, no weekends. They have been studying everything, bachelor degree, master degrees, PhDs, courses, master classes, coaches, mentors, you name it, because they need to know about basically everything 
to be a company director. They read, they discuss, they attend to conferences. It's a totally different lifestyle. So next time that you criticize a company director and you say why that person makes all that money is because they are accountable and they have sacrificed everything to get there. And that's why when they fail three, four times and they get removed from that position of privilege, they suffer a lot because then they look backwards and guess what? No family, no friends. I have been working for 30 years to be at this position and now I am not useful anymore. That's why depression, that's why they have issues. It's a very high ticket to pay. But no worry, you are not doing that. You are doing the diploma. Hmm? When you start doing the advanced diploma, when you start thinking about the master's degree, you are profiling yourself to be a director. But with the diploma, manager. Hmm? But we need to work with directors. Thank you so much, Rocio. That was a very, very good explanation of what an operational plan is. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Ennio. Good understanding of strategic planning too. And this is what we want. We want people that understand businesses. That's the kind of level that I'm looking for in this class. So happy to see that you have the skills and the knowledge, guys.